Hello everyone and thanks for taking time to watch this tutorial. I will be showing you how you can create an IoT web server from scratch using Raspberry Pi and few interesting technologies, mainly Python with Flask web framework and Chart.js for displaying beautiful charts. So the goal of the project is to create an IoT gateway. We have our sensor, in this case BME280, which is connected to our Pi and we want to have an easy access to the sensor readings. Easiest way to do this is to create a web interface so that measurements are easily accessible on various devices. And my personal main motivation for this project was to learn how Flask can be integrated in embedded devices. Now let's see how the system looks when it's working. As you can see, I'm accessing it through locally hosted web page on port 9999 but you can configure it to use whichever you like. On y-axis we have temperature in Celsius and on the bottom we have a date when the measurement was taken from the sensor. You can also see exact timestamp when you hover over a given point. Colors on the graph can be easily adjusted. I chose green line simply because I like green. Data on the graph is updated every 15 minutes. You can see that shortly after 8 I sat at my desk near where the sensor is right now and then opened the window. That's the reason for rise and fall of the temperature. Throughout the night measurements were pretty stable. Now let's see how the system is built. We have a few building blocks which we can now connect. This will give you an idea about the architecture of the system. First we have our sensor BME280 connected via I2C interface to our PAUI. Sensor getter script together with system timer is responsible for getting data from the sensor and uploading it to the database in desired format. Our backend application written in Flask gets the data from the database and then via function render template it generates HTML document which displays a line chart. And now let's look at how it is implemented in the code. I'll put the link down in the description to my GitHub page where all of the code is available for free. Also let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a full-blown tutorial or Udemy course where I go deep into the details of this project, working with virtual environments, Python, Flask, Systemd and others. This is the project opened in PyCharm on my desktop. Let's start with the backend part of the application. This is a directory containing sensor specific stuff. Here we have a script called sensorgetter.py which is responsible for connecting to the sensor via I2C, getting readings and logging them into the database. This script is periodically called by systemd timer. It is a better version of cron job used for running certain tasks periodically. In this case we have a timer that fires every 15 minutes. This timer is based on a service which contains path to our script. Path will be defined when application is installed in the target environment. Then we have the code responsible for creating the database. Firstly let's look at schema.sql file. This is the architecture of our database. As you can see it's simple, but for our needs it's absolutely enough. It contains table for temperature, which consists of timestamp in text format and sensor measurement as real. Based on this file we have createDB.py script, which is used during the installation of this project. Based on schema specified in schema SQL, it creates database and initializes it with some dummy data so that the graph can be viewed immediately after installation. I also created some helper scripts to automate installation and deployment. install.sh is responsible for creating the database, copying necessary systemd files, reloading and running the timer. There is also a script helpful for development, deploy to rpi.sh. It is useful when developing code on desktop, but testing on the Raspberry. Finally, we have the Flask application. 
I chose Flask mainly because I am already familiar with Python and also this framework is lightweight and therefore frequently used in embedded devices. In the main point of the application, we have functions responsible for interaction with database. Also, I defined two routes, one for debugging and second one for viewing temperature. In the main route, we are getting data from the database based on a given interval, in this case 12 hours, and then we are passing that data to prepared template which generates the graph. Now, coming to the front-end part of the project, I am not a full-stack developer by trade, so please forgive me if you see any awful JavaScript implementation here and there, or some bad HTML. I tried to keep it simple, so that it's as bulletproof as possible. Here in the head, we're getting the chart.js framework, then we have defined styles. The canvas one is especially important, since it's responsible for centering the graph on the screen. There are alternatives for Chart.js, like Google Charts. I chose this library mainly because it has extensive documentation and is easy to use. I don't want to go too deep into the details in this short video. Let me know if you'd like to see a longer one with full explanation. The most vital part of this template is generating labels and data points from the database query we're getting from Flask. It is then parsed by Chart.js and we can enjoy our clean graph. That's it for a quick overview of the project. It can be improved in thousands of ways and I will try to show them in the next videos. For example, we can add more data to the chart, like readings from the pressure sensor. We could also plot data not only from the last 12 hours, but 6 hours or 24 hours. The possibilities are basically endless. Full code is available on my GitHub page, check out the link in the description. Thanks again for watching this video and I hope you found information in it useful.